and all, uh, one and all. Uh, sorry for little bit delay. Uh, we will start with our session. As you know, uh, there are eight different themes in this program, flagship program. And one of the crucial and important themes that NEP has today more emphasis on that is the Indian knowledge system, Bharati Gyan Parampara. Uh, we will uh, last uh, since from last uh, two or three days we are discussing on the various themes of this uh, NEP 2020 uh, on like as uh, skill development, I uh, thereafter uh, multidisciplinary multidisciplinary holistic education such themes we have already discussed. But now this theme has uh, uh, is an integral part of our curricula. And uh, we are uh, going with this uh, theme, uh, like as government has promoting this our Indian art and culture, not Indian art and culture, Indian business models and ancient uh, ancient uh, ancient Indian history. But see, friends, one more important thing is that uh, whatever may be the uh, our India Bharatiya Gyan Parampara or indigenous uh, technologies or Indi indigenous knowledge that is based on the scientific and rational thinking. So it is not uh, up to that ki kuch bhi hum logo ko batai jaye aur wo hum log accept kare. It is not that whatever may be our literature or whatever uh, technology we have used in our ancient India that is based on totally scientific methods and they are proven methods. So uh, today for discussing this uh, huge topic we have with us uh, Professor Santosh Bothe sir. Sir warm welcome in behalf of the Malvi Mission Teacher Training Center Sant Garge Baba Amrauti University. Friends, Professor Bothe sir is presently serving as a principal at Saraswati College Shegao uh, that is affiliated to our uh, Sant Garge Baba Amrauti University. Basically, he is man from the technology, but uh, he is always believing the indigenous technology and he is always uh, doing some experiments. Not only some experiments, he has done more experiments with this technology in recent era. So I will not take much more time. And uh, sir, we are eagerly waiting uh, to hear you and request you to start with, uh, start with your session. Sir, please. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for uh, the kind introduction. And uh, I hope I'm audible clearly and my yes. presentation is also visible. Yes. Okay. So the delay was not due to the, the university center. It was because of me. So I express my sincere apologies for that delay, but it was sometime the technology dependency causes a delay. So that was the reason it was delayed. But anyway, let us start. So I, I have taken like three sessions before uh, on IKS. I tried to create a new presentation for all those sessions, at least update a few things. But for this particular session, I, I couldn't update much. But I think uh, still there are the, the, the things which I covered earlier. Sir, your voice is little bit low, sir. Little bit low. Okay. Is it better now? Now it is clear, sir. Now it is clear. Okay. Okay. I'll sit in this position. Okay. So, uh, uh, the agenda today is not to teach you anything, but to bring in front of you the science, engineering, humanities, or you name the field and probably will try to relate those things with what we already have. We'll not talk like generally when we say Indian knowledge system, we, we have different perceptions. And most of the time, the scientific perception is missing from all those. So today's agenda is not to talk about any uh, spiritual or religious things. We will be talking purely about science. We will be talking about uh, the evidence-based things. What are the evidences? I will not share a single thing which is not based on evidence, based on my experience. So I am not like a master of the Indian knowledge system. It is so vast and so deep, probably... We, we need uh, one life is insufficient to master entire thing. Like the image which you see in the background is uh, like a, I got a patent uh, and that patent is already commercial commercializing Europe and we are working on commercializing this in, in India as well. So there are certain regulations, uh, uh, regulatory approvals we are waiting for. So once this, let me tell you, the patent is about Analyzing speaking voice. When we speak, 
there are 6300 plus characteristics to the speaking voice now and there are 18 point of articulation basically if you can imagine uh, the basuri and the depending on the, the like the blowing hole and uh, the the air flow with the coming comes out of the a different different type of hole the holes that the basuri has so the, the in the flute create different kind of music depending on the, your blowing speed, uh, blowing type, the way you blow uh, into the blowing hole and uh, the hole from which the ear comes out, accordingly it creates the pleasant and beautiful music. So for our speaking system, voice generation system, let us call it as a voice generation system, we call it point of articulations. So from lungs, it is just a air flow, like the way you blow the wind into a blowing hole of the basura. But when it comes out of the mouth, it, it is converted into some meaningful words for music sometime in the different, different orders, uh, sentences. So this is so precise. All these are uh, having more than 6,000 characteristics and these are shaped these characteristics are uh, modified due to this point of articulation. When I studied this, I found the literature, the Indian literature, which talks about the contest, the talo, the host, the is the word which are pronounced with the support of this organs, which I mean, the tongue. Okay. Uh, so there are some words which we are pronounced when lips are closed, some are open, some some tongue is upside, sometimes downside, and we twist the tongue in a different direction. And that's how we give the shape to the final shape to the words we speak. When I have taken this to the next level, I found that all literature, the modern literature, were fail to explain many things, but I found that in Indian literature, this is readily available. So that is the power of uh, India. So I'm talking about acoustic speaking voice. Now you might have seen that there are divisions in the hospitals for this particular area. So like this, I will be sharing my experiences today throughout the session. So in the interest of time, uh, we already lost 10, 15 minutes. So I'll skip few videos uh, which are there in the presentation. So let me reshare my presentation so that I can share the audio as well. Give me a minute. Okay, so I'll skip first two slides of last session. Uh, these two slides were was one video. Then I asked, what is the purpose of education? So we'll skip. So some of you can still respond in a chat instead of using this mentor to save the time. The time lost, uh, I can say by asking you the question. Uh, please be ready. I'll be asking questions throughout question means. I'll be throwing some uh, questions of curiosity, not to check your knowledge, but to um, develop my own understanding. So I'll be asking few questions and please feel free to answer in the chat or unmute and answer. So my question, first question, what is the purpose of education? Why we teach? Why we educate people? What's the primary purpose of teaching something or earning degree? Whatever you want. So what's the purpose? Can somebody answer in the chat? Again, one more thing. It ensures that you are listening to me. Those who answer, those who are not answered, that means they are just loved in. So far, no one responded in the chat. Okay, I have uh, Dr. Manisha, ma'am, to know more. Okay. Anyone else? What, what do you think? And there is, see, there is no right and wrong answer. I, I want to understand your opinion. So what, what do you think? Why, why we should teach or why we should learn? Mastery of a knowledge and value system. Nanduji is saying that. Enhanced skill. Jaisri Madam is responding. Okay. Joey Madam seems to have a deeper insight. Okay. So thank you for your opinion. Three, four people have responded. 
but uh, the primary purpose, as you already said, is economic growth, keep we up, uh, ourselves updated. Ekdam, I'm saying that. Aditi, oh, woman power specifically, specifically, they are these seems to be more interactive and attentive. So that is usual. Okay, the males are not responding. Given again, this way, I'm to become a good human being, very good man. Okay, so if you there are uh, some uh, misunderstanding. Uh, there are some correlations that you find. Many times it is related to earning degree. Why we take admission, what we learn, why we learn. Sometimes it may be taken as like, yes, we, we take admission or we learn or we, we have been taught something to earn a degree. Many times when you ask the college going student why you are learning, probably most of the time the answer we will get is to earn the degree. Why you are going to college, probably the answer you will get for marking the attendance. And we all are teachers and we are aware of the facts. So another uh, set of people will say that, yes, we are doing it for getting good jobs, doing some jobs. But if you look at the primary purpose across the world, and particularly in uh, across the world in general, and in Indian system in particular, the primary purpose of education is to ignite mind. What I mean by this, igniting mind, generally, who is supposed to give the answers? Can anybody again have a, uh, your opinion in chat? Teacher should give answer or student should give the answers? Who should have questions? Okay, Dr. Amra Prakash Devidi ji saying teacher should give the answers. Okay, sir. Anybody else? What do you think? Who should be having answers? Okay. Amra Prakash sir has responded. Anybody else? Generally, the primary purpose of the education is to ignite the mind and ignited mind always have lots of curiosity, lot of creativity. It's a full of questions. And for those questions, teachers should help to find the answers. So primary purpose is to ignite the mind so that they, they have lots of question in their mind. They question everything not the way we question uh, the rules and regulation. That is not what I mean. Question is, suppose we taught some theory. What if I do change this? Yeah, if like, gravitation is a nine, uh, I mean, acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 9 .8 meter per second. So if I, if I change it or what is the way to change it? Can it be changed? How does it impact X, Y, Z thing? If how does it impact designing of my vehicle? How does it impact like uh, the way I construct the house, how does it impact the way I cook the food? How does it impact the way I walk? How does it impact my weight? There are so many questions that can a uh, student can have just by telling them. So the ignited mind always is always curious. The curious mind asks the questions. And the role of the teacher is to find the answers together for those questions. So that's the primary purpose of the issue. I don't want to sound quite philosophical. I want to share some of the real examples, but I think I, I thought of this is a heavy topic uh, in, in a sense, as it has a lot of purpose, a lot of objective behind it, bringing the NEP has given a special emphasis on the Indian knowledge system due to various factors and the, the, the strong uh, connection it has with the, the you name the domain, be it engineering, be it, a, it is a medicine, it, it agriculture, or any other domain, you will find that the, the science, the, the strong emphasis is on science. It's not just the said and done. Okay, so let, let, let us uh, dive deeper into this. So I'll be covering the session three parts. First part will have like a some kind of overview. In second part, I'll share a few case studies which I've experienced uh, throughout my life and throughout academic and uh, the research journey. 
and uh, in the last part we'll try to have some sort of discussion if that is this uh, and I, I would like to understand your opinion on the things okay so let us uh, start now for the first part how many of you agree with the system there are two images on this slide and please be interactive Please be interactive. So how many of you do agree? Like uh, this is typical education system. So everybody has to take so, so let me let me explain this picture. Imagine you have a student, no matter which subject you are teaching. Let us look at the picture on the left first. There are some students who are really good in doing things. There are some students who are really good in presenting the things. There are some students who are really good in let's say writing those things and if you take their exam just by writing the only those who can write it well though they have understood but they are not able to express maybe they don't and they are not comfortable with the language of the examination for whatsoever reason they are not able to write it but they can uh, express it in presentation form they can perform it very well they can show it by doing it they can apply it so Taking a simple written examination, probably the only who will able to write will pass those examinations. Those who are understood but unable to write may fail the examination. Those who can do that or apply that but unable to write due to certain reasons, it may be a language barrier or some other reason, uh, the, the nature of the person, there are various factors to it. So they may fail to pass this exam. So this uniformity what we call it as that same question same so the way we design the question the way the answers are evaluated you need to ask yourself i'm not going to like uh, point somebody but you need to understand is it the way it has to be then when you see the picture on the educa uh, education system on the right the way they come inside. So I put it in a different way, though there might be little exaggeration in the image, but to some extent, there is some kind of a reality as well. Thank you. Yeah, Charushila, madam, uh, thank you for your opinion. Ignorance, non-ignorance, education enables. Okay, picture is really to present education system. Dr. Amar Prakash is responding. Thank you, sir. Yes, I agree with you. Slow learner, average learner, gifted learners. Okay. So, imagine a situation wherein one student like have a lot of curiosity about the topic and he want to apply and he want to say that, okay, sir, I understood your fundamentals or any, any principle or any mathematical equation, any rule or any physics uh, experiment you taught. Now I want to go and apply on my field uh, in my garage or in my shop or wherever it is applicable. Does the system allow to, to do this and dare willing and master that? You have to answer yes. Okay. So now take this as a like one point. So what I'll do, I'll put different scenarios. You need to assume this is one dot on our canvas. At the end, we'll try to draw a picture out of it. So this is one dot I'm putting here. What is education? What our 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 uh, ancient science is about education? What is education? Even the uh, probably we all know that our motto of the education was always sa vidyaya vimukta. Means the education. The Vidya, Asli Vidya, Vay, Joapu, Vikaro, Dukrosi, Chinta, and let us not get into the spiritual aspect of it. Means the, the darkness of ignorance, darkness of lack of knowledge. So, is say, Joapu Muktkare, that is what we call Sa Vidya, Imukta. So, that's the primary purpose. It should clear your understanding about, like, 
when I was in school, I, I used to think, why can't the plant ask the motor pump in my farm, hey, switch on, I'm hungry and give me the water. So that was my lack of understanding that the plant can't speak to the motor pump directly. Then when I went to my bachelor degree, I understood there are some sensors which senses the like uh, the water content uh, in the plant leaves, even that uh, the moisture and uh, the humidity in the air, moisture at the root and various factors. And sensing those factors, it can generate some data and that data can be passed through some sensors to a motor pump and the motor pump can turn on and off depending on the characteristic. So with education, I understood that the plant can communicate with the motor pump in this way. So earlier, I was having understanding, so plant should speak on it itself. So that my lack of understanding cleared due to the education. Imagine a scenario before 10 years, wherein somebody, if you, somebody told you that the mo, uh, your mobile will talk to the car and car will respond to your mobile, hey, I'm at 10 kilometers away from you, there is a traffic in between, it will take me 10 to minutes to reach to you. So everybody would have called us mad. How can a mobile talk to the car and car responds to the mobile? But now if you are using Ola and Uber, that's the reality. So earlier we had no understanding. There was lack of knowledge that these two things, the mobile and a car can communicate with each other. So that is what I mean. So with education, we understood there is something called IoT. There is something called... Uh, the sensors, there is something called the data analytics, which can help us to draw these answers. Like there is a traffic on the road, uh, so it will take 10 minutes more to reach. The distance can be sensed through the GPS. So this understanding is clear after we have been educated about the technologies that are involved. But somebody would have told you that in, let's say, 2005 or 2006, before we started talking about IoT and sensor and GPS, even the mobile will guide you to your home. Mobile tells you the route from which direction you should go to reach to the university faster or your college office faster. So nobody would have believed. But with understanding, with education, we reach to an understanding that it's possible. We can do this. Right? So the education is the thing which... Uh, Suti Patak, madam, uh, I think uh, you're. Suti Patak, madam, are you listening to me? Suti Patak, madam, can you hear me? But either you turn your video off because uh, we are able to see. Okay, thank you. Okay. So that's why I'm asking to respond for the same reason. Okay. So, Vidya, Sa Vidya Mukte is all about clearing the misunderstanding or the lack of knowledge and taking it, enlightening our mind. Okay. So that's a, a primary purpose. Now, another dot which I would like to bring in front of you, that the NEP also talks about the same thing. So the NEP talks about context-free understanding. Context-free understanding is sa vidya vimukte. What does this mean? If you understand the fundamental, it will remain forever. They will never change. Like 9.8 meter per second acceleration. It remains E is equal to MC squared. This, these are the fundamental. If you use this, wherever you use, these rules will be always followed. If they are not context dependent. If you are in India, it's different. You are in US, it's different. It's not like... So if you can draw the context free many out of the things, let me briefly explain you what is the data. Data is many, uh, like collection of some facts and figures. That's a definition by definition. But if I want to take a 
if the students have captured the data, they have some data, like what is the capital of India? What is the capital? What is How much is the population? Or what is the distance between this and this place? This is, these are the question about data and information. What is knowledge? Suppose I ask the question, the, nowadays farmer are uh, sowing less sunflower. That's why we have less honeybees. Or there is less honey produced these days because we don't have a sunflower. So if you are real understanding of the data and information related to these two facts, like farmer are sowing the less sunflower because there are lots of birds. The birds destroy the crop. That can be one many. Bird destroy the crop. So farmers have found some other alternatives. Uh, give me a moment. Okay, so the bird was destroying the crop. That is uh, why the farmer was shifted to another crop. And due to the lack of sun class in a particular season, honeybees are unable to uh, collect the honey from the sunflower and that's why less production. So this kind of inferences can be drawn. There can be another inferences uh, depending on each one's experience. So, if we ask this kind of questions, then we are testing a knowledge. But that is also insufficient. If you look at these three things, we have maximum question checking data or information. There are very few questions which are checking actual knowledge. Okay. So, in, in any subject, suppose, let's, let's talk about a cooking. If I add this much of this each type of spices, what will be the possible test? The if the person has data and information, probably he, he he can talk about the known combination which he or she has already tried and tested. But if they don't have the knowledge, that means uh, what I mean by this is understanding. So under understanding precedes knowledge. So if they don't have understanding as to what is the role of each ingredient in cooking, they will not able to tell you, if I add this particular proportion, makes this, what kind of test it is going to give. That is only possible when yet they have understood the role of each ingredient and they can draw a meaning on themselves. Okay, not written in the book, not taught in the class. It can They can draw those conclusions that is what we call knowledge. So you can ask yourself how many questions or uh, how uh, how many assessment are based on knowledge. So most of the assessment in academics are based on data and information. So forget about the wisdom and truth. So the education should liberate the individuals from any misunderstanding or the lack of knowledge about a particular given context. So context free thinking is the primary purpose of education. The ignited mind dives deeper into the concepts and understands the fundamentals and then it becomes context -free. So anyway, so let us not be uh, too much theoretical. Now, another dot which I would like to put in front of you. Everybody is listening. Can I have yes or no in the chat? Yes. How many of you uh, are listening? Uh, Praveen sir is listening. Okay, Manisha Madam is listening. Archana Madam is listening. Okay, Devya Madam is also responding. Okay, 
Okay, it's quite a few people. So, if you look at the current scenario in which now I we need to connect IKS with these modern technologies. What I'm going, why I'm putting this dot on the imagine that we are, have a canvas and we are putting some dots, and then at the end we'll try to bend a picture of IKS. What exactly IKS, how it is relevant in the modern era. So that is what I'm going to talk today. So the currently the reactive and proactive, both the approaches are not relevant. Everybody wants to predict. Be it like when you log into Amazon, Amazon predicts what kind of product you are looking for based on your previous searches. Whatever you have searched before 10 minutes, accordingly, there are offers specifically generated for you. Means Amazon predicts that you are trying to purchase or looking for XYZ items. Right? So there is a prediction. Doctor also wants to predict which medicine will be the most suitable medicine to cure a particular disease. The restaurant owners want to predict how many customers will come to my restaurant today and what kind of test they would love. Okay. Even if you are traveling, you want to predict how much time it will take you to reach to a destination. Considering the traffic and the weather condition, road condition, toll and other wetting factors. Right. So we are living in a predictive world. The earlier we were talking, we need to be reactive, proactive, but you will find that knowingly and knowingly, the moment you have grabbed this smartphone, your life has become predictable. Everything is being predicted. But let me give you an example. Let us imagine a simple, simple uh, thing which everybody does WhatsApp status. Remember, imagine. Don't worry, I'm not going to do that. I'm not a master of uh, cyber uh, security or ethical act. hacking as such. I, I can't do that. I can, even I don't have any social media. But imagine somebody monitored your WhatsApp status, Facebook status, or Insta updates for six to eight months. Which logo with this technology. But let just imagination. Nobody is going to do that. Government of India has a privacy protection act, so nobody can do that with the, the uh, substantial reason. But anyway, so imagine what all things we can predict about the person. We can predict what kind of clothes the person like, what color, what is his or her favorite color, what kind of food the person likes, what kind of places they, they he or she usually visits. How many members are there in family? What kind of house the person has? What kind of shoes uh, or the chapels or the footwear they wear? What kind of, how frequently they were go to travel? How frequently they go to the restaurant? How frequently they, they are feeling sick? So many things can be predicted just by looking at your WhatsApp status or Insta updates. There are so many things. If you apply analytics, People are predicting whether you are going to repay the loan. One of my friends is working on predicting the lending risk. Means, kisi ko loan diya to wapas karne ke kitne chances hai. And what are you using? The customer has to compulsory give access to their social media handles, not to the individual, a machine learning algorithm. That algorithm goes to that handles and checks out what kind of places you visit, how much you uh, average spending, what kind of brand of clothes you wear, what is the average cost of those clothes, shoes, how, how is your lifestyle, based on that, what is your income and how much you spend. And it calculates whether you will have sufficient money to repay the loan or not. So that is being predicted just by looking at WhatsApp status or your social media accounts, right? So you are using digital transaction. Imagine if I monitor all your digital transaction, what all things can be predicted. Travel train class. So many things can be predicted. So this predict we are living in a predictive world. Do you agree? How many of you agree that we are in a predictive world, not reactive and no more pro reactive or proactive world? How many of you agree? Please answer in a chat can give a thumb down if you don't agree if you give, you can give a thumb up if you agree okay mangla madam is going sir agrees okay so what has made this prediction possible let us understand what is the backbone and we will try to relate this backbone to the iks we are talking about artificial intelligence that is 
doing lots of analytics and drawing in what analytics does what uh, uh, artificial intelligence does it reads the data and draws the meaningful insights out of it that's it so let us keep it very simple let us not complicate otherwise ai then programming and python this let us not complicate ai is a very simple thing what it does it studies the pattern into a data if there is a particular pattern the way you uh, let's say every saturday you reach to a particular location and that's a restaurant that means i can predict you you will be going to restaurant on saturday so i can send you some offer related to that so that is a pattern of going to so it's drawing insights out of the data that's basically what artificial intelligence does as simple as that then sensors have you use are you using sensors anybody of you are you using sensors and if you can name any sensor you are using anyone can respond in chat are you using sensors my question is aap log sensor use karte ho kya no one using the sensor sir we use it in the car okay you use it in car okay thank you uh, nandu sir is saying it is in smart watch i'll tell you in my opinion we use at least 50 sensors daily and if you have a smartphone more than 100 tv remote everybody has a remote control tv it has lots of sensor into it if you are using a smartphone the touch screen is a sensor camera is the sensor the gyroscope is the sensor accelerometer is the sensor the gps is the sensor so knowing if you are using refrigerator or fridge at your home there is a thermostat which senses the temperature accordingly it changes if you are having air conditioner it has lot of sensors so if you a television it says days days and night accordingly adjust the brightness so you have light sensor so the our life is surrounded by sensors if you are using any digital device right from tv remote to smartphone okay and those sensor are continuously generating data and that data is continuously being accumulated at one place with the power of connectivity that is 4g 5g and even we are talking about 6g and this ai and modern analytics are drawing meaningful insight out of this data which is very rapid and effective and that's why we are we are able to make a prediction right thank you sai madam you agree with that so everybody understood the why we are predictive and what are the technologies behind being predictive what do you think do you agree on this these are the technology which is making prediction possible there might be some few technology here and there but primarily if you look at the things these are the technologies which are making the predictions possible okay so let us uh, remember this as a dot on canvas i would need this when i draw certain conclusions at the end okay so everybody please remember this now we teach so many thing we have course objective co po mapping and what not so many things but then i find very few academic institute actually go to the problems of the humanity what are the problems of humanity they are grouped together as per the similarity by united nation by serving more than 200 countries and those problems have 17 groups and those 17 groups are known as sustainable development goal in my opinion this sustainable development goals are the problems of humanity and as we agreed earlier that education should ignite the mind so putting this together using the technologies using the education i think our primary goal of igniting mind is to find a solution to these problems it's not for a human but it is entire for the uh, it's for your entire humanity it's and for entire universe so we need to work on this so more than 7000 plus problems are already identified so education should be uh, 
to igniting the minds to found, find the solution of those problem which world is facing right so we should have some education aligning to solutions or helping us to build a solution in the form of a product or a services or whatever the case may be of those global problems now if you look at this 17 problems i will try to present few of the uh, and these 17 problems are known as 17 sustainable development goals right how many of you uh, are aware of this uh, system? You can just give thumb up in a uh, chat if you all are aware, those who are aware about this sustainable development goals of the United Nations. I hope you are able to hear me and my slides are visible. Yes, it's like a typical class i'm getting a feel that there are only few students who respond and others uh, maybe a backbencher we don't have a backbencher here as it is online so everybody is in the first row okay kirti madam and nandu sir has responded okay so this sustainable development goals are the problems of the humanity and education should ignite the minds of the students to solve the problems faced by the humanity. So let us move further. Keep this in mind as well while we need descending. Let me tell you another scenario. What is missing? Shayad, uh, is anybody having some problem in understanding Hindi? Because I have a habit of shifting between Hindi, English and Marathi. Is there anyone who don't understand Hindi? Because I have some slides uh, which have some Hindi matter written on it. So in that case, please uh, type in chat. If you don't understand, I will translate it in English for you. So let us consider one scenario here. Scenario then and now. Imagine like those who are in 250s, their school time and today's school time. Okay. situation. Imagine a situation where किसी पुलिस ने एक चोर को पकड़ के लाया और उसकी गवाही देनी है एंड द प्रोबब्ली यू माइट हियर दिस स्टेटमेंट सो दोस वर अबाउट फिफ्टीज दे माइट हैव एक्सपीरियंस दिस मैं बाल बच्चा लोग उस आप मुझसे झूठ ना बोलवा नाउ द सेम स्टेटमेंट सपोज वो किसी बड़े बाहुबली का बेटा बेटी है जिसने कुछ गलत किया है एं Probably you can relate these two statements. Okay. Das sal, bis sal pehle, or bis sal ke baad means is today. My baal bachyo wala hu, musse sach na bulu hao. So I see a lot of high case values, Indian values missing in these two scenarios. Just in 20 years, last 20 years. If I calculate it for, let's say, the previous 100 or so, I think, the scenario is it has turned upside down. But this is a scenario probably most of us have experienced this. Okay. So what do you think? What is missing in this? What is missing in these two statements 20 years back and after 20 years? What's missing? Even if you, uh, you, you, you uh, experience the scenarios these days, but you mobile nahi diya isli usne suicide kar diya, ghar se bhaag diya. Then there's something wrong that has happened. Okay. So what do you think? What's missing? What's the difference in these two statements? Sentence. Let's say uh, this statement was in uh, somewhere around 1980. And this is, let's say, around 2024. These are the statements. Anybody can unmute or type in a chat. What's missing? Why the why 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 this scenario? Kya farak hai do chhe? 20 साल पहले, 30 साल पहले, 40 साल पहले हमारा ये statement था कि मुझसे झूठ ना बोलवा हो और अभी आज के date में हमारा statement है साब हमारे से सच ना बोलवा हो. So what has changed? Charushila Madam is saying morality, honesty, discipline, patience. Is missing very well, well said, man. Like right? so the morals, ethics, 
शायद आप लोगों से बहुत सारे लोगों ने देखा होगा वेन यू आर लाइक स्टूडेंट्स वेर यू एबल टू सिट एंड टॉक विथ योर टीचर्स आपके टीचर खड़े हैं और आप चेयर पे पैर को पैर पे पैर रखे हुए बात कर रहे हैं योर टीचर इज स्टैंडिंग एन राइट सो वैल्यूज जय श्री मैडम ऑल्सो सही वैल्यूज कीर्ति मैडम सही ऑनेस्टी ओके सो लेट अस टेक दिस थ्रेड फॉरवर्ड टू द डिस्कशन अभी आजकल रिजल्ट का डर किसको लगता है ज्यादा टीचर्स को या स्टूडेंट्स को आपके क्लास का रिजल्ट कम आ जाए बच्चे वरी रहते हैं आप लोग को भी चिंता होती है बी ऑनेस्ट विथ योर सेल्फ राइट अगर रिजल्ट खराब आ जाए लेकिन 10-15-20 साल पहले यू कैन रिलेट दिस दो देर माइट बी सम एग्जाग्रेशन बट मोर ऑलस इट इज क्वाइट रियली वन Okay. So I see there is some something missing in these pictures. We'll try to connect this missing band, missing dots. Do you think this is a more or less scenario, irrespective of the college or university you are uh, doing your uh, teaching or the professing, wherever you are professing? Do you think this scenario is more or less same across the country? Give your thought to it. you need not to tell me the name of the institute or you need not to uh, maybe respond to it but give a thought to it. is it the scenario first year second year third year and fourth year these are the like typical representation of the class now isme hame indian knowledge system agar laaye to ye first year se bachche gayab nahi ho jayenge ye jo fourth year ki situation hai wo first year mein na aa jayegi so let us give a thought why they come to the college and you might see might have seen this you all are teacher and you might have experienced some or other time some scenarios like this agar attendance mil jaye to main shayad college in right so do you think it is relevant to talk about iks in such scenarios students are coming now let me let me i'm not just drawing a negatives i'm i'm going to present a solution to this as well i'm not just trying to identify the problems but whatever in my limited capacity i would like to present few solutions as well okay. why student come to the classes you will find it is the more or less scenario in many institutes okay introspect yourself now we are working at <coughs> uh, university or college affiliated to hgb sant gargi mara gargi baba amrav university amrav what are the the chatuk tri sutra sutra given by gargi maharaj so those who want understand marathi i want to put it to an actual way so those who don't understand marathi they can read it in english i excuse me if there is some mistake in translation i am not a native english speaker so there might be i know the meaning which i want to convey what gargi maharaj told us if there is a shortage of money then sell the food and say ghar ke jo bartan hai wo bech do ghar ki jo lady hai ya ghar ke jo baaki log hai unko kam kapde dilwaye ghar banane ki jyada banana pe jyada kharcha karne ki zarurat nahi hai but what you should do by educate the students we have the university song gaade ke baba tum che sapna saakar zale i don't want to be a critic but does gadge maras pursued the education or he, he he meant the education in which degrees are awarded based on exam or the ignited mind which i discussed earlier 
okay so take your side okay let us now move further so if you, we, we focus on degrees marks and attendance here is the scenario i'll explain the analogy those who agree they uh, at the end they uh, once, once i finish explanation they can agree or disagree and respond in the chat Yes, Dr. Ritu, madam, you want to say something? Dr. Ritu, madam. Okay. So, suppose, imagine, this is a hypothetical scenario, but I think it applies to various real-life things. What is the importance of education, igniting mind? And what is the importance of teaching for examination or passing the examination or even for getting a good job? Here is one example. Imagine the, I don't, I, if there is some uh, like disclaimer is, I'm not comparing student teacher with any of the, these are just for a representation purpose. Snoopy is the student. And uh, the person you see in the picture, there are two people who are supposed to teach and one is who is supposed to monitor. Means, let's say principal, teacher and the student. You can easily make out who is the student. Uh, I'm not drawing an analogy of student with dog. Just for a representative purpose, I'm using these pictures. Now, the teacher is... Teacher has taken the class and he came back to the principal and says, Sir, I have taught in the class how to blow a whistle. That was a part of syllabus. That's a hypothetical scenario. The principal immediately responds, I can't hear him in whistle. I hope many of you understood what I'm trying to say. We are smart, we are teachers. I have an immediate answer that I said, Sir, I said that I have to Right? So that is what I feel happens if you teach for scoring marks. Mass score karna kaise possible hai, kaise karna hai, shayad hi hum logo se bachche jada achche se jante hai. Nowadays, they have 24 by 7 supporters. Uh, I call them Google, Uncle, Chad, GPT, Maushi. Uh, Brad, Chacha. These are 24 by 7 available and they, you throw any question at them and they have a precise answer. Okay. So in this scenario, if you are not changing the way we teach, I think this is how it is going to be. So what, what we need to do? Are the student responsible? Are the educator responsible? Are the pedagogies responsible? What is responsible for this? Let us dive into and where does it connect with the IKS? Where is the IKS in all this? Okay. So uh, I'm basically in a software. So in software, we study SDLC. We call it as software development life cycle. So I have drawn analogy with student life cycle. So, student development life cycle. So, in first year, student is like a lawyer, engineer, uh, poet, whatever course he gets into in the first year, he, he or she imagines, I am a doctor, I am a lawyer, I am an engineer, I am a poet, I am the, I'm the, the, whatever the course I get into. Second year, you know the assignment, the internal marks, what is the teacher, what is the teacher, Assignments भी लिखना होता है. Then मैं पीछे के दो तीन साल के paper भी refer करने होते हैं. आपने पढ़ाई नहीं किया तो चलता. तीन साल के paper refer किए तो pass हो जा सकता. So with the journey he reaches the final year. The student reached final year. And he passes. He passed the degree. He or she passed the degree. So the question is like uh, the situation is like what you see in the picture. I call them. Confuse student with degree. This is in final year. In first year, 
they were what they wanted to be. They were they were having a creativity. They were having lots of other things which are required for that job. But the by the time it is, so let us imagine any situation. So you'll find it is relating any domain, any branch, right? So what our ancient system says about the education, how the education should be delivered, we call it as a, it has talked about the characteristics of the students, how a student should be. It has a characteristic of a student. There is a, a special book on how to teach or what to teach. And rather, there are a few things which we need to understand how not to teach. Right? So don't worry, we'll not take uh, the philosophy class today. I'll not dive into that. So the qualities of student, what our ancient wisdom says, Kaka Chesta, Bakodanam, Swan Nidra, Tataivacha, Salpari, Grothagi, Vidyarthi, Panchalakshmi. These are five qualities of student. Tove Jesi, Chaturai. Babule Jesa, Dhan. Patience. Dog Kutte Jesi, Nidra. Swalpa. Paid Barke Khaya. So we are Bara Gante Utnega Namni. That is not the characteristic of student. And he should be away from the house. Now there are. So there, there can be some debatable uh, characteristic, but let us understand one by one what it means. Many times we misinterpret that. Ghar se aave matlab hostel me dal dena or residential school me dal dena. Itna, itna hi limited meaning nahi. Okay. So let us understand what it means. Now, many times I think it is connected with the. The idea of various ideologies. Let us not get into those political impressions or the, the media impressions. So there is an article. Let us not debate whether it was true or not, whether the P.B. Macaulay said this or not. But let us understand what, what is the message. It is, I, I researched it and I found uh, the official archives and through that official archives, I have found that the, whatever we are discussing, I am not going to present anything without evidence. So there is a uh, um, news article which says that Macaulay's views of Western superiority still holds back the Indian education system. So Macaulay ne bohut saara kiya hai aapne YouTube pe ya bohut saare logo ko usko mod tod karke bhi suna hoga. Wo kuch logo us pe debate bhi karenge. Wo sahi mein kaha tha ya nahi kaha tha. Ye tha ya nahi tha. But let us not get into this. My point of view is different. What I am trying to do is I present few scenarios. Ye ab thoda bullet point karke note karke rakhi. ये कहा था नहीं कहा था ये मेरा क्वेश्चन नहीं है मैकोले ने जो कहा था वो सच है या झूठ है ये मेरा पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू नहीं है बट इफ यू लुक एट दिस टाइटल वेस्टर्न सुपीरियरिटी सुपीरियरिटी मींस वेस्टर्न का जो है वो हमसे कहीं सुपीरियर है लेट अस हैव अ सिंपल कंपैरिजन सपोज आई हैव डन माय पीएचडी फ्रॉम एनी ऑफ द इंडियन यूनिवर्सिटी and there is a person who have, who have done the, the same PhD degree from any foreign university. Which do you consider superior? Be honest with yourself. Which degree can I have some answers in chat? Which degree we would consider? And we are not here to compare. Let us try to be honest and understand. Then probably we'll be able to conclude the right things. Can I have some answers? Which degree you consider superior? For that matter, somebody has done a, a graduation, post-graduation or a PhD from a, a Indian university and same from any European or American university. Which degree you value more? Nobody is listening? Because I don't have any answer in it. Hello, sir. We are from Ayurveda. Okay. Ayurveda. Yes, Mangla, ma'am. I'm from Amaravati University, sir. Okay. Okay. Oh. 
So let us let us. Uh, I'm not getting any responses. Just one response. Okay. So let us move further and understand what I'm trying to say. The documents which are searched, the archives which are studied, in that archives, it says that in 1815, just in Bengal province, there were more than 2,57,000 schools just in Bengal province. Vishakapatnam school was famous for steel making. They were knowing the chemistry, physics, and mechanical properties of the steel. Kangra University was doing a medicine and surgery. They were offering a degree. So there were almost 18 disciplines, 18 disciplines. Literacy rate in India, these are documented facts. Huh? I'm not going to present anything which is hypothetical. Now, what a change over the time. If you look at this picture, uh, it will help you understand what I'm trying to say. I'll give you a couple of minutes to understand this picture and reflect in a chart. Aapko kya lagta hai? Ye scenario hai abhi ya nahi hai? Once you understand, please uh, don't forget to respond in chat. Are we in this phase now? How many of you agree and how many of you don't? Both are right answers, don't worry. I'm not judging you for the right and wrong answer. I just want to know your opinion. No one responded so far. I example what I'm trying to say. My grandfather lived for more than 100 years. And he never he has never taken a so-called modern medicine. He used to consume the, the extract of plant. He has his own lifestyle. Like what I mean by lifestyle is Season me kya khana hai, season me kya nahi khana hai. Okay, Jawar ke roti kab khana hai, Mati ke roti kab khana hai, Ulat ke roti kab khana hai, Gyeo kabhi nahi khana, only on the day of festival. So he followed this principle. Nowadays, we have protein supplement, this supplement, that supplement, right? So, just remember, I'm absolutely right, I'm coming to that, natural and artificial. So whatever the naturally natural things were available, he used to consume those. Meat. Whatever we used to produce in our farm, he used to consume that. Okay. So I'll present few pictures. So keep this in mind. Again, there's another dot. I have added six bullet points so far. I'll be connecting all the bullet points a day. Now, look at this sentence. There are two statements here. Try to put your, if you can put some name of how universities you are working with or no in India. The blank space here, I want to put the name of the college or university was established in the era of establishment. However, for last, let's say 20 years, the university has not produced a single thought leader of international repute. Is it not a surprise? Think yourself. I don't want to name the university or a college. Think yourself to how many colleges it holds to. We have more than 45,000 higher education institutes in India. Out of 45,000, just give a thought. No need to respond. No need to answer. How many universities in colleges will find satisfying this? Give a thought to it. Reflect yourself. Aapko mujhe batane ki jorati. Aapko bhi malume, mujhe bhi malume. Right? The second sentence. 
statement. The university was established in some XYZ year. Let's say consider any 50 year old university. These many, many number of alumni has secured Nobel Prize in medicine, physics, chemistry, or whatever the domain you are seeing as. Or has developed the product or a service which has reached to every household in your country. Or has this person has established with our alumni a business who has employed these many employees, more than 10,000 employees. Check out yourself how many universities fits into this. Okay. So if we have four crore, our university may her sal char crore but chate one thing. Char crore but che university may her sale. Agar Joki Bosare De Shoki Nobel Prize winner ki population was gas pass. Right? अगर इतने बच्चे स्कूल जाते हैं यूनिवर्सिटी जाते हैं स्कूल में तो इसका नंबर और बढ़ा है वी आर सॉरी एक्सक्यूज मी वी आर प्लानिंग टू इंक्रीज द जीआर टू 50% सो इन दैट केस वी विल हैव 12 करोड़ स्टूडेंट गोइंग टू द यूनिवर्सिटी Reflect yourself, we all as a teacher, which statement apply, which statement is more suitable to your own, including my institute, this or this. Right? So we what the IKS is, it gives us the guideline as to how to reach to this second milestone. Okay. So now let us move on. IKS and Andean history. So these are the few preambles, the same few dots which I added on the canvas. Let us now start connecting those angles, those dots, which I have already shown onto a canvas. So far, anybody has any query, any suggestion, any any disagreement? Anyone? You you agree to what I have presented, or you disagree, or you have different uh, thought in mind, your different opinion? Anyone? Can you at least answer? Are you listening? Are you listening? Yes. Okay. Okay. So I have one. Uh, madam, I can't hear you. Madam, I can't hear you. Okay. So <clears throat> there are some hard facts about IQs, how it is possible. Some hard facts, the mytho when we say IQs. Many times it is perceived as it's just a mythology, nothing other than God or religion. That's one perception. I'm not saying that everybody perceives it like that. But I think there is one perception like this. Another perception we have about IKS is Indian knowledge system is long list of do's and don'ts. Another perception which, and these are my experiences, I am not saying this from any book or when I interact with people, when I talk about this, this these are the general responses I am getting. Okay. So another perception is matter of a blind faith, it's unscientific. 
let us let us try to understand what actually it is then you yourself decide whether it is a mythology whether it is spiritual or religious or it's a long list of do's and don't whether it's a matter of buying faith whether it is scientific or not that you decide yourself so let us try and understand what is iks what is iks is all about then at the end i would like to know from you all whether it should be included into the syllabus whether it should be a part of academics or not okay so let us let us understand one fundamental thing about iks and education system we have traditional norm tradition of shruti parampara because knowledge is transferred orally jo mujhe pata tha maine orally jaise ki jo hame i don't know which belief you follow whatever muslim hindu or uh, both sikh isai whatever you follow but i'll give you example of let's say mahabharata it is said that dronacharya has conveyed all his uh, knowledge by orally to arjuna or through practice to arjuna and even my grandfather i as i told you he lived more than 100 years he was knowing lot of uh, uh, natural medicines like pet mein dard hai to kya lena hai dast laga to kya karna hai sardi hui to kaun se pe pet ke patte ka ras lena hai there are so many things he was knowing right i had few practical experiences of he curing various diseases through some of the plant extracts but he never written that on a page he was able to read and write but he has never kept it in written form he tried he said ye main mujhe bataya gaya hai main usko bat what do you think this oral tradition is good or bad knowledge hamara jo ancient knowledge hai jo hamara uh, knowledge sharing ka mechanism hai wo oral tha ye orally ek ne dusre ko bataya aur wo kya hai forward hua so what is your opinion is good or bad is good to have oral tradition imagine hamare paas mein books hi nahi hai hum orally bata rahe hain pravin ji is saying bad pritam sir is saying is good okay i just want to understand i don't want to label you right and wrong i just want to understand your opinion and then i'll for why it is like that then you yourself conclude how it is to you i am not judging you i am not asking you the question to check if you uh, you are understanding that's not the purpose so do you agree knowledge is the power suppose i know how to make a particular thing let's say a vehicle for that matter uh, a poison a atom bomb or a bomb or weapon uh, ak47 or even some knife how to make things if i have knowledge so how to cook a food it's a power knowledge so it is power to feed somebody to ensure the nutrition security okay so from that sense do i agree knowledge is power i request everybody to be quick in responding you have to just click yes no or you can use symbols you can use emojis like this if you agree it is and there are lots of emojis in the if you click uh, on the bottom of the chat there are different format okay so please be quick i want it to be a little interactive that motivates me that you are listening otherwise uh, it is like a provocation the maharaj is doing and uh, nothing has changed even the gargi maharaj has done a lot of provocation okay so i don't want to sound like the maharaj okay so if knowledge is the power imagine the person in your village or your town your city having power maybe some officer or some bahubali and if he is having power how he or she is using it a person without ethics having power a person with ethics having power right the way being it is you this is the person who is both bodybuilder hai both ta taakat wala banda hai wo raste mein gaadi khada karega aur bolega baaju se ja if the same person having values and ethics he will leverage or she will leverage that power to help those who are in need 
किसी को कोई दरा रहा है धमका रहा है उसके पीछे खड़ा होना दर इज पावर विथ वैल्यूज एंड मॉरल इफ द नॉलेज इज द पावर imagine it is with the person without values and moral imagine the atom bomb or ak47 with the indian soldier and a terrorist so weapon is the power so so is the knowledge so if the knowledge is a power and it is with the person without values and moral you all know what it translates into right so if i write something as to like i write a book i publish a paper as to how to make ak47 or for that matter any knowledge which can be used how to make a virus we have experienced it right how to design a virus how to design a medicine how to design a drug so whatever knowledge and i kept it in a written form can we control you can read this Absolutely, there is no control as to in this digital world. We can read; it is available to everybody. Available at a finger tip, right? So, our ancient system believes that knowledge should be with the person who has highest level of integrity. He will be using it for the betterment of universe. not for the family or the anyone one person so knowledge is to be used for well being of everything well being of earth well being of the, the plant trees there are so many things attached to it there is a lot of science behind it okay so in modern world we have one saying probably you might have heard and you will experience that everything is fair in love and war let me give some examples of indian knowledge system indian tradition of war i am not taking you into mahabharata or ramayana right so i will just give some example which everybody knows and in the written form the known form so i'll give a couple of minutes to read i think many of you might have heard or read this story it's about the sultan of uh, bijapur मुलाहमदेटेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडे
सॉरी आई डोंट वांट टू पर्टिकुलर क्रीम लगाने से गोरा हो जाएगा मैंने भी कोशिश की थी लेकिन गोरा तो नहीं हुआ राइट आई थिंक मेनी ऑफ यू मस्ट हैव आल्सो ट्राइड सो दिस इज व्हाट हैपेंस व्हेन द नॉलेज विदाउट वैल्यूज मॉरल एंड एथिक्स दैट्स अ बेसिक नीड नेसेसिटी ऑफ ब्रिंगिंग बैक द द आईकेएस सो लेट अस डाइव डीप इनटू दिस is it ikas only about our values ethics and moral as i said earlier does it has some science in it does it has some engineering into it does it talks about the medicine does it talks about the so called modern things let us understand okay everybody is with me so far all of you are listening and you 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 know this example the purpose of this is to understand whether you are following my presentation and listening to me or not and i want to keep you engaged let me be a little chill the only two people have responded dr manisha ji and uh, sujatha ma'am and one i have attentive participant nandu ji who responds to all the question jaisi ma'am as well okay ritu ma'am has responded pritam okay Nitu, Nitu, ma'am. Okay, Dr. Mayur. Okay, Rashmi, Bade, ma'am. Okay. So now let us try and understand. Is it only about values, moral ethics, or it's science or beyond that? Let us start with few facts. This is reported in World Economic Forum. historical statistics in 2003 okay so this is a percentage share of india's uh, percentage share of india in global gdp it's approximately 33% till when 1757 battle of classes those who are history professors here they will easily understand and interpret what i mean to say okay and the statement in the at the bottom probably many of you will agree to that traditional skill knowledge during british rule i am not making the statement based on certain assumption i am going to present you a few facts with verifiable proofs evidences right so this was india gdp now we can't dare to imagine to have this share of gdp global gdp 33% share in the global gdp so hamara business india ko sone ki chidiya isliye kaha jata tha ta us waqt sabhi ye koi currency the nahi thi dollar euro rupees aise so all exchange was through gold coins and we had itna agar hum export karte the global gdp ka agar hum na itna share tha imagine the, the gold coins india would have and that's why we used to call Sony ki chidi. That is how we describe our motherland. Okay, so this is one fact. So this I will keep in the interest of time. India and China, working age population. This you can take a screenshot, and I'll come to I'll connect all this at the end. Now. there are some transformation which has taken place or we all have witnessed not maybe this telephone everybody has witnessed some of you might have also witnessed this but many of you have used or seen this you are reached to this stage and we are trying to reach to this particular stage okay so the transformation that has happened in mobile from this to this from extreme left to extreme right whatever you probably you might have seen extreme right picture in the pilot mode they are available right so head up displays that are in various car it's example of the picture you see in the extreme right this is the transformation that has happened with telecommunication agriculture मुझे मालूम नहीं यहाँ पे कितने फार्मर्स या फार्मर्स के सन एंड डॉटर्स है बट 
and many of you those who are born after particularly 2000 those who are into like 20s they will hardly able to name what are this instruments like this what is this what is this what instrument is this right chala sart then what is this what is this right so you will hardly find because it has, it has underwent the transformation we don't see this anymore we are having some or this kind some of this kind of machines this is the transformation that has happened into agriculture if you can imagine a classroom i have taken this picture on the internet uh, excuse me for its uh, relevance to any school or college the classroom your grandfather studied in was almost the same i'm not talking about the digital board these boards are replaced by digital board with the way we teach is the same the classroom you studied was almost similar and you as to your son or daughter or your kids study is also a similar except earlier we used to chalk and board to write now some of the schools started using smart board and writing with the stylus or hand so agar ye transform nahi hua and if we have missing values and missing ethics if you see the ad the ad here don't you think this is just an example of missing values the person has knowledge of a law but what for he or she is using that if need the crime but don't want the time call the filo get your life back matlab aapne koi crime kiya hai ghabraiye nahi aapke chhodane ke liye hum baithe hain so yahi nahi हम जो जितने भी एड देखते हैं आजकल दे हैव सेम मीनिंग नॉट एग्जैक्टली बट दे हैव सेम मॉरल बिहाइंड इट दे हैव सेम एथिक्स बिहाइंड इट जितने भी एड देखते हैं आप कंपेयर कंपेयर करके देखो इस एड से जितने भी प्रोडक्ट्स के आप एड टीवी पे देखते हो डोंट यू थिंक दिस इज मिसिंग वैल्यू एंड एथिक्स अगर जैसे कि आपने देखा ये लॉयर का वैल्यूज होगा कुछ गुनागार वो छोड़ देगा डॉक्टर के वैल्यूज एथिक्स मिस हुए या इसका एजुकेशन ठीक से नहीं हुआ इंजीनियर का नहीं हुआ तो ये थोड़े लोगों का प्रॉब्लम है बट इमेजिन टीचर के वैल्यूज और इथिक्स मिसिंग है तो कई जनरेशन कई पीढ़िया के वैल्यूज और इथिक्स मिसिंग हो जाते आपको नहीं लगता जो मैंने पहले एग्जांपल दिए थे एक डॉट मैंने लगाया था क्लास में सोना क्लास में अटेंडेंस के लिए कॉलेज में आना So, अगर टीचर के वैल्यूज एंड एथिक्स अगर सही समय पे आ जाए सो रिफ्लेक्ट ऑन योर सेल्फ आई एम नॉट ब्लेम ओके सो ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड वैल्यू एंड एथिक्स ऑफ राइफलमैन जसवंत सिंह अगर नहीं इनके बारे में पता तो मैं आपको चाहूंगा एक रेकमेंड करूं आप यूट्यूब पे जाके आज 72 आवर्स वाला मूवी देखिए you will you will get it is still army indian army still believes jashwan singh rifle man abhi even after post mart unka shahid hone ke baad bhi unko promotion diya jata hai assuming that he is still guarding the borders china borders okay 72 hours wala movie dekhi abhi unko har saal promotion milta hai हर, हर रोज उनका वर्दी प्रेस करके उनके उनका मंदिर बनाया है इंडियन आर्मी ने वहां पे रखा जाता है कोई ऐसा कहा जाता है सो दैट इज आई डोंट वांट टू गेट इनटू सम अदर थिंग बट व्हाट पॉइंट आई एम ट्राइंग टू मेक ही हैज हाईएस्ट एथिक्स एंड मॉरल टुवर्ड्स ही इज गार्डिंग द बॉर्डर ऑफ हिज कंट्री ही फॉर्ड अलोन विद मोर देन थ्री चाइनीज सोल्जर्स एंड किल्ड more than 200 a single post right so you you just watch a movie there might be some exaggeration in the movie but it's a real story based on real story so that is what happened once 
the person has a power with ethics and values. It, it comes out like just one singer. There are many around us. We have many people like Sindhu Daisapka. The, these are the people with highest moral and ethics. Right? So, Jyotiba Pule said, if you I think it is well explanatory. I need not to explain this line. Vidyavana mati geli, mati vina niti geli, niti vina gati geli, gati vina vidya geli, vidya vina shudra kal kachle, evule anate ka vidya niki. Okay? So, education with ethics. So, so far, we came to a position that knowledge is power. Power is used to control. Indian knowledge system talks about using this power, using this knowledge for self-control. Imagine you have power. When to use that power, where to use? Personal benefit or well-being of all? Right? That's called self-control. It is used for freedom from wants. Needs nahi. Economics ke jo professor hoge, wo clearly distinguish kar paayenge needs and wants. That is what the IKS takes us, talks us. Okay? So, mere dada, again, wohi wala example, jo mere dada ji ne me jo bataya tha, jo modern economics ka concept hai, dada ji ko bada daya tha, unko bachyo ki pet dar ke ek dawa pata thi. Pata nahi, koon si ki kei iski muli laate te, ek patthar tha, jisko hum paris bolte te, आपके क्योंकि इंडिया में हर हंड्रेड किलोमीटर पे लैंग्वेज फूड और कन्वेंशन चेंज होते हैं सो आप लोग शायद कुछ और बोलते होंगे वहां पे किसके रगड़ के उसका लिक्विड निकालते थे एक स्पून फूल शहद के साथ में बच्चों को पिलाया तो कुछ मिनटों में बच्चों का पेट दर्द ठीक होता था मैंने बोला दादाजी मुझे बताइए I am sorry to say, but I, I, I put some slang words here. He used to call me, Nahi, tu padalika idiot hai. What he means from, by his, this statement, Mere jane ke baad mein, tu iske paise lega. Je peed kaat ke khud ke ghar mein lakhega, uska shortage create karega, and then you will sell it and high spice. Aapko lagta hai, ye current situation hai. Is aam karte hai. So that is what I mean by knowledge is power and power without ethics is result into sin. Aapne kuch injection ke baare mein experience kiya hai recent past mein. Everybody of you gone through this situation of a particular injection during the pandemic. I don't want to name it. I know the name. Right? So we, we consider it as freedom to create a surplus. No. Knowledge is not the freedom to create surplus. Right? So, I'll skip again this vice chancellor term. This also I'll skip. Now, let us understand from scientific perspective what is the Indian knowledge system. अचार बनाते हैं सब लोग। How many of you had like like where how many of you were fortunate to have दादी नानी in your house and stay with them for let's say ten fifteen years? Can some have some answers in chat? कितने लोगों ने दादी या नानी की जैसा आज जी सोचो कितने लोगों ने आठ-दस वर्ष या विशेष या पहले गाला बोले Yes, Kitty Madam, yes, sir, we prepare a chat. Okay. Only eat and yes, Dr. Mayur, I am one out of you. Males generally they never prepare their there for their they help to eat to finish. Divana, yes, sir. Mangala Manga is saying yes. Kama ye jam saktauki apke dadi ya nani jobi achar banatete. Unka process ta kabibi am kartke kabibi. 
या श्रेया ये मैम इज सेइंग यस मॉम प्रिपेयर्स द चाइल्ड जेसी मैम सेज यस दे प्रिपेयर द चाइल्ड सो लेट अस डू यू थिंक इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल थिंग व्हाट्स द साइंस इन दिस व्हाट इज इट आई के विल ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज आई के एस इन दिस द चाइल्ड those who have prepared or those who have had this achar or those who have seen your grand mother preparing this achar your maternal or paternal grandmother preparing this achar you might have noticed i was fortunate to experience and witness myself right so when she used to prepare june ki pehli barish aane ke baad mein aam ki katai hoti thi teen ingredient use kiye jaate the हल्दी नमक और मोरी मोरी के क्या राई हिंदी में बोलते राइट राई हल्दी और नमक क्या आपको याद है ये अचार कितने दिन टिकता था एनी वन कितने कितने दिन तक ये अचार टिकता था अल भी आप इफ समन क्या अनम्यूट एंड स्पीक अदरवाइज यू कैन ऑल्सो रिस्पॉन्ड इन चार कितने दिन तक ये अचार वो ऐसे ये पिक्चर में श्रेया मैडम इज रेस्पॉन्डिंग ऐसे ऐसे ही कंटेनर में रखा जाता था जिसको हम चीनी माती की बर्नी बोलते थे ये मोस्ट ऑफ द आंसर्स आर ईयर और मोर एक साल से कम नहीं सो माय एक्सपीरियंस इज जब मेरी दानी या नानी दोनों भी जब अचार बनाते थे उनके तरीके से वो कम से कम दो साल टिकता था उसमें कोई फंगस नहीं लगता था वो कोई खराब नहीं होता था उनका यूज करने का एक तरीका था बनाने का एक तरीका था यस मेनी मेनी ऑफ यू आर एंडोसिंग द सेम लाइक जयश्री मैडम कीर्ति मैडम आदित्य मैम मंगला मैम नेतु मैम सो ऑल ऑफ लाइक यू आर आई आई एग्री विथ यू कि एंड आई हैव आल्सो एक्सपीरियंस दिस गिव अ थॉट टू इट जस्ट गिव अ क्विक थॉट आई लीव इट फॉर अ रिफ्लेक्शन फॉर मिनट ये अचार एक प्रोसेस था नाउ डेज अगर हम करते हैं विल कॉल इट साइंटिफिक प्रोटोकॉल टू कट अ मैंगो एंड प्रिपेयर द पिकल मैं उसके भी आगे लेके जाना चाहता हूं आपको ये सिंपलेस्ट थिंग है जो हम प्रैक्टिस करते थे शायद हर घर में होती थी डू यू एग्री दिस इज वन ऑफ द सिंपलेस्ट थिंग नाउ वॉट इज ग्रेट अबाउट दिस आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इट एवरीबडी एग्रीज ऑन दिस ये अचार हर घर में ऑलमोस्ट बनता था राइट सो ये अचार का रिसेंट रिसर्च पेपर मैंने निकाला दो हजार सत्रह में जनरल ऑफ फूड फूड साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी वन ऑफ द हाइएस्ट साइटेड जनरल इन द वर्ल्ड जो कहता है जो इस तरीके से बना हुआ अचार इंडियन प्रोटोकॉल से बनाया हुआ अचार इज एक्ट एज ए प्री बायोटिक एंड प्रोबायोटिक जो लाइफ साइंस है बायोटेक्नोलॉजी वाले हो गए उनको ये वर्ड का मीनिंग पता है हम करोड़ों रुपए खर्च कर रहे हैं प्रीबायोटिक एंड प्रोबायोटिक बनाने के लिए जो प्रीबायोटिक हमारे दादी और नानी ने अलमोस्ट फुकट में बनाया घर पे ही बनाया वी ने नीड अभी के प्रीबायोटिक मैन्युफैक्चर करने के लिए बी एस एल लेवल थ्री या उससे ज्यादा फैसिलिटी रखती है जिसको फैसिलिटी क्रिएट करने के लिए करोड़ों का खर्चा होता है हमारे दाजी जी ने घर में ही बनाया कोई माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म का कंटेमिनेशन नहीं था कोई फंगस नहीं लगा आज जो मार्केट में अचार मिलता है जो earlier, वो फ्रिज के बाहर कितने दिन अच्छा रहता है प्लीज बिग बिग इन चार्ट मैंने यहाँ पे जान बुझ के ब्रांड नेम हाइड किया है ये सब मार्केट में मिलने वाले अचार से या प्रीबायोटिक प्रोबायोटिक जयश्री मैम कीर्ति मैम आदि क्या नहीं रिस्पॉन्ड इन चार्ट मार्केट में आजकल मिलने वाला अचार कितने दिन फ्रिज के बाहर अच्छा रहता नहीं 
Neelu Madam is in six months. I have some experiences that a char was spoiled due to fungus in less than a month. In some cases, in some cases, six months, hardly for some week, right? So, who is better in food preservation? Who has better scientific knowledge of protecting food? Ask yourself. That too, the way we used to prepare achar was prebiotic and probiotic. Ye maine, ye scientist told him. Right? So, aapko lagta hai, bina scientific knowledge aise hi aa gaya. Aise hi hum pehli barish hone ke baad mein aam cut karte. Aise hi uska process follow karte. Usko cut kab karna hai, paani mein kitne deir bhigo ke rakna hai, pehle haldi lagana, pehle namak lagana, ya pehle rai se uska treatment karna. Uska bhi ek sequence hai, uska bhi ek timing hai. Aapko kya lagta hai, aise hi aya, without science ke. हमारे अचार बनाने में दुनिया का सबसे स्टैब्लिश साइंस आजकल हम जो बात करते हैं फूड टेक में प्रीबायोटिक एंड प्रोबायोटिक जो हजारों रुपए के हम महीने में खाते हैं वो तो हमें फ्री में मिलते हैं वो बिना साइंस के पॉसिबल है मुझे लगता है नहीं इट इज बेस्ड ऑन हार्ड साइंटिफिक हार्ड कोर साइंटिफिक फैक्ट इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल टू मैन्युफैक्चर और uh prepare a pickle which is prebiotic as well as probiotic my a simple word means ka meaning batata hu jo nahi jante jo digestion aapke body ko body ke digestion ke liye aid karta hai usko hum prebiotic probiotic bolte simple language mein aise medicine market mein aaye hain jiski cost maine yahan pe aapko kuch niche di hai 700 rupaye se lekar 3000 rupaye tak ye to hame free mein milta tha Right, so that is the IKS. So we were knowing the biotechnology. Can I conclude from this? This based on biotechnology, particularly life science people can respond. If any, anybody from life science background, can we say that based on this principle, if somebody knows how to preserve the food for years together without any external synthetic chemicals. With the natural ingredients and avoid any contamination and convert that into a prebiotic or probiotic, where they knowing the modern technology of manufacturing prebiotic and probiotic, somewhat similar to that. Right? You need to ask this. I think we don't have any life scientist here, so no one has responded. Iron and steel. No, Shushita has. More than 500 types of surgical instrument manufactured with the steel, rust free. So we were knowing this in 4th century BCE, not AD. So do you think it is possible without knowing the chemistry and physics of making steel? The, the razors. आजकल ना जो रेजर्स मिलते हैं मार्केट में कितने भी यूजेस के बाद खराब होते हैं आप लोगों को मालूम है बट 300 400 500 सर्जरीज के बाद में वही रेजर सो दे वर नोइंग द साइंस ऑफ डिसइंफेक्शन दे वर नोइंग द द मटेरियल साइंस Yes, Kirti Madam, we are in inspired algorithms. I'm coming to that as well. Thanks for pointing it out. Okay. So another. Last year we have celebrated the year of millet. I think everybody knows that. Year of millet. The glue is all not for India. Because the millets are considered as positive foods. I am coming to that. So, kya humare dadi ji ne banaya tha? Aaj bhi kuch gaon mein ye banta hai. Iska protocol fix hai kya? Marathi mein usko kharoda, kholda, vada. Do you know the right protocol? Yes, Sri Madam. As I said, you call it sangi. India mein. कहीं पे भी आप खड़े हो जाइए किसी भी डायरेक्शन में सौ किलोमीटर चले जाइए 
वहां पे आपको डिफरेंट नाम डिफरेंट लैंग्वेज डिफरेंट फूड और डिफरेंट लोग मिलेंगे दैट्स द डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ आवर कंट्री जी सो एवरीबॉडी विल कॉल इट इज विद अ डिफरेंट डिफरेंट नेम डू यू नो दीस आर द मिलेट रेसिपीज व्हिच इफ यू प्रिपेयर दिस फूड आइटम्स विद द प्री डिफाइंड रेसिपीज व्हिच योर दादी जी और नानी दी यूज्ड टू प्रैक्टिस mind you it was taking 98% micronutrients from farm to field do you know the current statistics whatever modern met methods of cooking and harvesting and sowing we are practicing we are losing everybody be careful listen carefully what i am saying i want everybody to be attentive for this so we are losing more than 80 This is a reported statistics, not my statistics. Eighty more than eighty-seven percent micronutrients are lost from palm to plate. Kuch cases mein to hundred percent. Jaise ki flaxseed khaye, javas khana hai. Humne dekha tha, sab log mast bhun ke khate. Wo tar tara ya agar flaxseed, uski jo omega three ki sac hoti hai, wo blast ho jati hai, and we lose all omega three. It has to be consumed raw. ये हमारे दादी को मालूम था उसमें तिल डाले जाते थे पकने से पहले या पकने के बाद आप दादी जी को पूछे आपको पता चलेगा कैसे खाना चाहिए तो क्या ये विदाउट नोइंग डाइजेस्टिव प्रोसेस विदाउट नोइंग द बॉडी विदाउट नोइंग द हेल्थ साइंस ये पॉसिबल था कैसे कुक करना है कब कौन सा इन्ग्रीडियंट डालना है ये ऐसे ही नहीं आया अच्छा दिखने के लिए नहीं डाला गया आजकल जो हम डेकोरेट करते हैं ना थोड़ा अच्छा दिखना चाहिए इट्स गुड बट पर्पज पे मुझे डाउट है राइट सो इट वॉज अ माइक्रो न्यूट्रीन जिसके लिए हम आज में मार्केट में कितने भी पैसे देने के लिए तैयार है लेकिन जो मिलता नहीं है वो तो घर घर में था हर घर के डब्बे में रखा हुआ था प्रिजोर था सालों तक चलता था आजकल के कोई भी फूड पैकेट ले लो एक साल नहीं रखा एक्सपायरी है उसको वो एक्सपायरी के बाद में आपको उसको इंसेक्ट मिलते तील डाले जाते थे मुंह में पानी आ जाएगा ये कब खाते थे कितना खाते थे किसके साथ खाते थे इसका भी रूल था इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल विदाउट हार्ड वोर साइंस एंड रिसर्च ये ऐसे ही नहीं आया है जो हम वापस रही तो फूड साइंस तो हमने स्टैब्लिश कर दिया है ठीक है सो आई वुड लाइक टू ड्रॉ योर अटेंशन टू द रिसर्च डन बाय डॉक्टर खादर वली ही इज अ पद्मश्री रिसेंटली ही कॉल इट श्री धान्य इफ यू गो टू दिस लिंक ही हैज लॉट्स ऑफ रेसिपी एज टू हाउ टू कुक द फूड मुझे नहीं पता कि व्हाइट एंड ग्रीन कलर का जो क्रॉप है कितने लोगों को पहचान में आता है मराठी में अगर कहा जाए हम बोलते थे आड़तास मतलब सोइंग होने के बाद में जो लास्ट ऑरिजेंटल सोइंग हम करते थे मराठी में उसको हम आड़तास बोलते थे उसमें ये भारड्या कंगनी या आप अलग अलग नाम से जानते हो जैसे कि मैंने कहा हंड्रेड किलोमीटर पर उसका नाम अलग होगा और ये हर घर में खाया जाता था अगर आप देखेंगे ये पॉजिटिव ग्रेन में आता है आई एम पुटिंग यू साइंटिफिक रिसर्च सो लेट मी गिव यू ये साइंटिफिक रिसर्च मैं आपके सामने रख रहा हूँ कोई एजम एजम्शन नहीं पॉजिटिव ग्रेन क्या है न्यूट्रल ग्रेन क्या है नेगेटिव क्या है आप क्या खाते हो आपके एसिड का कारण क्या है आपको खुद को ही पता चल जाएगा आपके माल न्यूट्रिशन का डिफिशियंसी का कारण क्या है मालूम है इंडिया में 87 परसेंट एडल्सन गर्ल्स आर एनेमिक 52 परसेंट मेल्स आर एनेमिक 57 परसेंट वुमेन्स आर एनेमिक इसका रीजन आपके सामने है इज इट पॉसिबल एग्रीकल्चर मुझे इसमें एग्रीकल्चर साइंस भी दिखता है मुझे इसमें हेल्थ साइंस भी दिखता है मुझे इसमें फूड प्रिजर्वेशन का साइंस भी दिखता है मुझे इसे पीपल मैनेजमेंट का साइंस भी दिखता है मुझे इसमें केमिस्ट्री भी दिखता है मुझे इसमें फिजिक्स भी दिखता है सो एंड बैक टू एट टॉप लेवल जो आज तक इसमें से बहुत सारी चीजें हमें नहीं पता सो आई इज द आई के एस अबाउट स्पिरिचुअल रिलीज थिंग 
आजकल टोमेटो या ओनियन के रेट से सरकार बदल जाती है हमारे लोग इसको ये कितने साल तक स्टोर रखते थे ये आप कितने साल तक स्टोर रखते थे फूड विदाउट सबसे पहले आई डोंट नो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू यू हैव यूज दिस फूड स्टोरेज मैं सभी डोमेन कवर करना चाह रहा हूं सो आई एम जस्ट गिविंग सम एग्जांपल्स व्हिच यू हैव योरसेल्फ विटनेस आई एम नॉट टेकिंग इनटू सम हिस्टोरिकल थिंग और एंशिएंट थिंग बहुत से लोगों ने आपने ये देखा होगा हमारा फूड स्टोरेज का तरीका ये फूड स्टोरेज अगर आप देखेंगे ये फूड स्टोरेज अगर आप देखेंगे इसमें आपने पाया होगा ये निर्गुड़ी करके जो एक प्लांट है उसके स्टेन से बना हुआ उसको गोबर से आपने कवर किया था मैं ये नहीं कह रहा हूं आप गोबर और निर्गुड़ का प्लांट की आप ये तो सब ढूंढ के निकाल सकते हैं ऐसी क्या चीजें इस गोबर और निर्गुड़ी में है जो इंसेक्ट रिफिलेंट करके एक्ट करती है कोई बर्ग्स आपके क्रेन को डिस्ट्रॉय नहीं करते कैन वी हैव दैट साइंस एंड प्रोटेक्ट अवर फूड आपको मालूम है हम 92,000 करोड़ का फूड हर साल वेस्ट करते हैं ड्यू टू द स्टोरेज लॉसेस कितना 92,000 करोड़ ये गवर्नमेंट के रिपोर्ट से मेरे नंबर्स नहीं है यस जैसे मैडम यू आर राइट पीपल यूज टू कॉल इट्स गंगी एंड आई होप यू हैव सीन दिस ऐसे हम स्टोर करते थे उससे भी एडवांस टेक्नोलॉजी थी पे मैंने एक्सपीरियंस किया मेरे गांव में एक बार जमीन दस गई थी वो तो जमीन दस गई तो हमने अंदर जाके देखा वहां पे बहुत बहुत बड़ा ऐसा केव जैसा कुछ बना हुआ था उसमें हमने कुछ ऐसे करेंगे जैसे कुछ कंटेनर्स मिले पता नहीं वो किस चीज से बने थे वो कंटेनर हमने बाहर निकाले उसमें कुछ जवार और बाजरा था मैंने मेरे दादाजी को पूछा कि आपको मालूम है जो जिनको उम्र उनकी उस वक्त तो कम से कम 96 सिक्स ईयर की थी मुझे मुझे तो नहीं लेकिन मेरे पिताजी और मेरे दादाजी इन्होंने भी कभी इसके बारे में जिक्र नहीं किया मतलब कम से कम डेढ़ सौ साल पहले वो पेव बना था वो डेढ़ सौ साल तक उसमें का जवार और बाजरा कुछ खाने लायक कुछ परसेंट दस पंद्रह खाने लायक बचा था ये तो हमारी प्रिजर्वेशन टेक्निक थी क्या हम उन्हें वो उसका प्रिजर्वेशन का साइंस नहीं ढूंढना चाहिए टू अवॉइड करोड़ लॉस ऑफ़ फूड सो ये साइंस नहीं है दिस इज व्हाट इंडियन नॉलेज सिस्टम इज अनादर व्हाट इज इंडियन नॉलेज सिस्टम आई थिंक एवरीबडी नोज द चाणक्य मैंने जो एक क्वेश्चन पूछा था Comparison with the Indian degree and a degree from the foreign university. ये क्वेश्चन अगर आप ठीक से समझेंगे चाणक्य ने जो थियरीज बताई थी अर्थशास्त्र इकोनॉमिक्स की दैट वॉज बिटवीन थ्री सेवेंटी बी सी टू टू एटी थ्री बी सी सिमिलर थियरीज और एक फिलोसोफर हुआ था यूरोपियन फिलोसोफर कॉल्ड मिची उन्होंने वही थियरी तीन मई चौदह से लेकर पंद्रह तक ये थियरीज उन्होंने रीड्राफ्ट द ट्रेजिडी इज इंस्टेड ऑफ कॉलिंग मिच्यूली एज यूरोपियन चाणक्य प्लीज लिसन केयरफुली टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आई एम सही कई सौ साल के फर्क के बाद मिच्यूले ने चाणक्य की थियरी वापस दुनिया के सामने लाई सो इंस्टेड ऑफ कॉलिंग मिच्यूली एज यूरोपियन चाणक्य वी कॉल्ड चाणक्य एज इंडियन मिच्यूली दो ही वॉज फट सीनियर एंड मिच्यूली एज फुट ऑलमोस्ट मोर देन वन थाउजेंड बिफोर 1000 year before mitchell so you need to give a thought to it the superior superiority which is superior okay the mindset what we considered superior so our it's not a tradition pickle banaiye tradition nahi hai ye science hai kangi banana grain store karna hai sandge banana ye koi tradition nahi hai ye science hai 
ये बात हमें समझनी पड़ेगी वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस सो देन प्रॉब्ली यू विल अंडरस्टैंड ट्रू मीनिंग ऑफ द इंडियन नॉलेज सिस्टम ओके और एक स्टेटमेंट मैं आपको दिखा दू ये स्टेटमेंट इंडियन स्टेटमेंट नहीं है आप अगर पढ़ेंगे टी एस एलियट वट इज ए स्टेटमेंट इंडियन फिलोसोफर सबस्टल मेक मोस्ट ऑफ द ग्रेट यूरोपियन फिलोसोफर लुक लाइक अ स्कूल बॉयज अर्थात इंडियन फिलोसोफर भारतीय जो दार्शनिक है उनकी अगर माइक्रो सुषमताओं को नॉलेज को अगर देखे जैसे कि मैंने पिकल का एग्जाम्पल दिया तो यूरोप के अधिकांश दार्शनिक जो फिलोसोफर है उनके सामने स्कूल के बच्चे जैसे है दैट्स वॉट इंडियन नॉलेज सिस्टम इज राइट सो आई एम स्कीपिंग सम स्लाइड इंटरेशनली There is one contemporary science or a modern science जिसको हम बोल सकते हैं उसमें इतनो म्यूजिकोलॉजी का एक ब्रांच निकाला है डिस्कवर किया एंड वी कॉल इट इज मल्टी डिशरी स्टडी ऑफ म्यूजिक देन देर आर सम ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट यू कैन टेक ए स्क्रीन शॉट एंड ओपन एंड एक्सप्लोर दिस वेबसाइट आफ्टर वर्ड आफ्टर द सेशन Hopkins Medicine Center also started believing that the music can be used to cure certain diseases, to heal certain health conditions. Right? These are the some hospitals which started believing. I'll show you the links that music can help. ये लोगों ने Hopkins Center या some European hospitals या American hospitals इन्होंने म्यूजिक इंडियन म्यूजिक को ऐसे यूज किया हम लोगों ने क्या किया उसका डीजे बनाया वो क्यूर करता है कि हार्ट अटैक लाता है आप ही सोचे ठीक है सो दिस इज आई के हाउ टू यूज इट यूज द सेम म्यूजिक टू क्यूर द डिसीज और क्रिएट अ गुड एंड ब्यूटीफुल म्यूजिक आउट ऑफ इट और टू गेट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ डीजे दप टू यू सो दुनिया ने माना है कि इंडियन क्लासिकल म्यूजिक में हीलिंग पावर है आई एम नॉट टेकिंग यू टू द एंशियंट साइंस जो बोलते थे गाना गाने में मल्ला राग गाने के बाद में बारिश होती थी आई एम नॉट टेकिंग यू टू दैट आई एम गोइंग टू द ओनली द रिपोर्टेड फैक्ट्स सो लेट मी शो यू वन ऑफ देम हॉपकिन हॉस्पिटल इज नोन टू बी लाइक वन ऑफ द बेस्ट हॉस्पिटल इन द वर्ल्ड सो लेट मी स्टॉप एंड रिशेयर द स्क्रीन विद दिस पर्टिकुलर लिंक to make you understand what the indian knowledge system is all about okay so i think uh, give me a minute i'm opening the link after opening i'll reshare the screen ये जॉन ऑपकिंस यूनिवर्सिटी का मेडिकल कॉलेज का पेज है आई होप यू कैन सी माई स्क्रीन कैन समी कन्फर्म प्लीज फॉर दैट मैटर इंडिया में बहुत सारे हॉस्पिटल्स में म्यूजिक थेरेपी डिपार्टमेंट अभी खुले है जैसे कि एक मंगेशकर हॉस्पिटल है पुनाटा वहां पर म्यूजिक थेरेपी का डिपार्टमेंट so this is the website and they are talking about itne sare diseases wo treat karte hain they are well reported scientific facts these are the diseases they are treating with music right so the music aise hi bana hoga kya sasur taal saptasur ye sab cheeze jo hum kehte hain 
ठीक है ट्रायल एंड एरर से आई होगी क्या इट इज हार्ड फोर साइंस सो दिस प्रूव दैट अभी कोई म्यूजिक बनाना है कोई एक्स्टिक वेव बनानी है जो डिसीज हिल करे डज इट रिक्वायर्स डज इट रिक्वायर्स इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो दिस इज वॉट ओरिजिनल इंडियन नॉलेज सिस्टम सो यू नीड टू गिव अ थॉट वॉट कैन यू डू सो इट कैन हैंडल ऑल दिस डोमेन्स कल्चरल सोशल कॉग्नेटिव बॉयोलॉजिकल that is the capacity of the music that's the power of music okay now yoga sabse zyada kon bolta hai is pe indians sabse kam practice kon karta hai indians sabse zyada practice kon karte hai probably european and americans kya hame yoga ye institute se seekhne ki zarurat hai kitne logon ne enroll kiya 58000 mein aur rating kya hai uska Engineering your health introduction to yoga and physiology. Okay, ये international day of yoga के बाद. So that means the power to cure the disease we are known. आजकल breathing pattern, breathing machine ये सब आ गया. They are based on the principles of this pranayam, right? so it connects with the jana so agar yahan pe koi life sciences ka hai i want them to just study the concept called epigenetics how the epigenetics is altered mai ek simple language mein agar epigenetics ka concept bata do aapko jaise ki imagine kariye ek hi banda hai us wo bina supervisor ke aur with supervisor kaise kaam karta hai अगर सुपरवाइजर है तो काम ज्यादा होगा बिना सुपर बंदा तो वही है कोई चेंज नहीं वैसे जीन वही है लेकिन एक पर्टिकुलर थिंग के प्रेजेंस में ऑप्शंस में उसका आउटकम जो चेंज होता है दैट स्टडी इज कॉल्ड एपिजेनेटिक्स इन सिंपलेस्ट लैंग्वेज प्लीज एक्सक्यूज मी फॉर मोमेंट ओके so they were knowing genetic engineering as well without which it is not possible to design those kind of music they have modulated the genetic response based on music so they were that means they were knowing genetics they were modulating the genetic response or demodulating the genetic response based on a need through meditation these are the recent papers it is publishing frontiers in psychology again one of the top 10 journals in the world in the field right and they have identified it through practical training and scientific experiments okay. so check out what this paper talks about mindfulness meditation vipassana yoga tai chi tai chi is the technique which we probably practice in traditional medicine right. another example introduction to food and health we have naturopathy which defines your relationship with your food we kitne logon ne enroll kiya hai this is indian knowledge 8 lakh se log zyada logon ne enroll kiya hai 6 mahine mein launch hone wali राइट, सो दैट्स ट्रू इन आपको नहीं लगता ये पेपर यूनिवर्सिटी का जो नॉलेज है वो इस आजी भाई के बटवे में था कैन आई हैव क्योंकि रिस्पॉन्स Only one response. Only one person agrees. Now two. Mangala Madam and Shreya Madam, Dr. Manisha. Yes, you also agree. Charushila Madam. Okay. So I can say, मतलब हमारी नानी जी को Stanford के scientist जितना knowledge था. So how can the things we see used to do 
can be simply turned down by calling it traditional. Can't we call it, call it as an Indian knowledge system? Yeah, Charushala ma'am, like it's a deep topic. Shastra and science conflict is there. I agree to you with, to some extent. But I think uh, that's not the agenda today. Uh, we can discuss if you are interested in that, that line. I will love to debate on that topic. And I agree with you. But the agenda today, whether we have something which need to be brought into academics. That's my sole purpose of discussing IKS today. Okay. So let's move on. Ye shayad apne yaha pe Marathi mein chudka hoga. Yaha pe aap kuch log agar logo ko shadi karwane mein help karte hai, jo madhyasti bolte hai na usme. लड़का लड़की को एक दूसरे को पसंद करवाना पेरेंट को मिलवाना बाद में अरेंज मैरिज व्हाट वी कॉल इन अरेंज मैरिज वी यूज्ड टू प्रैक्टिस आई डोंट नो एग्जैक्ट हिंदी वर्ड फॉर दिस सो आई हैव रिटन इट हियर इन मराठी वी कैन रीड दिस मुलाचे आणि मुलीचे मामकुड एक नको द पेरेंटल सॉरी मैटरनल अंकल शुड नॉट बी सी नाउ दे कॉल को coincidence marriages and science has proved that this is deep genetic engineering modern genetics is ko hum bolte science ne establish kiya hai ki agar aise marriages hote hain to usme bahut sare diseases kon kon se aate hain wo establish kiya hai ye to hamare kai generation ke pehle jo heart ke siwa shaadi nahi hoti thi kyunki dekhte the dono ka mama सेम तो नहीं है एक ही कुल से तो नहीं है एक ही प्रोजेक्ट से तो नहीं राइट सो ये ये डेप्थ हमारे नॉलेज का था सो वी आर टॉक्ट अबाउट द जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग यस डॉक्टर अमर प्रकाश जी वी वी कॉल इट गोत्र राइट सो सेम गोत्र एक नको दैट इज व्हाट आई आई विद अस इज अकॉर्डिंग टू सो is it possible to say this without having in depth scientific knowledge of these things so we were knowing the genetic engineering as well so these are written proofs and known things right hamari jo dadi ji aur dada ji jo batate the unko to nobel prize jitna knowledge tha yahan pe example hai 2016 ka nobel prize mila hai japanese scientist ko unhone kya discover kiya फोर्थ नाइटली फास्टिंग करने से एटोफेजी नाम की एक सिस्टम होती है बॉडी में जो कैंसर सेल को या जो हार्मफुल सेल से उसको किल करती है बॉडी खुद ही सो हमारी एकादशी का उपवास तो हमने कई सालों से कई शतकों से हम कर रहे हैं यस डॉक्टर वेदिका यू आर एब्सोल्युटली राइट तो फास्टिंग तो हमें कई सालों से बताया गया है ये साइंस नो नहीं इसके कारण भी नो नहीं आज हम फास्टिंग कैसा करते हैं आप सबको मालूम है मुझे लगता है फास्टिंग आजकल तले हुए आइटम्स भी फास्टिंग के मिलने लग गए यस डॉक्टर प्रकाश अमर प्रकाश जी लंगन फास्टिंग दिस आर द टॉपिक इन इट सेल्फ आई डोंट वांट टू डाइव डीपर इनटू दैट बट आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू हाईलाइट शुड वी ब्रिंग दिस इन टू प्रैक्टिस कंसिडर एनी डोमेन ऑफ लाइफ दिस इज वॉट can somebody identify what is this this time i am definitely testing your knowledge i'll show you one more picture jantar mantra shayad bahut bane naam suna hoga jantar mantra ye aisi construction hai jo maharaja sawai jay singh 2 ne banayi thi 1724 se 1730 ke beech mein This is a planetary observatory. बिना दूरबीन के बिना कोई डिवाइस के आप उसके एक जगह पे खड़े हुए तो पूरी प्लानिटरी सिस्टम की पोजिशन सन कहा पे मून कहा पे अर्थ कहा पे ये थ्री डायमेंशन में शाडो के थ्रू आप विजुअलाइज कर सकते हो क्या आप मुझे बता सकते हैं बिना इसके साइंस मैथमेटिक्स पूरी प्लानिटरी सिस्टम का नॉलेज के बिना ये कंस्ट्रक्शन पॉसिबल है या आज भी है आप जाके देख सकते हैं तो एस्ट्रोलॉजी 
So astronomical observation without instrument. ये आप पूरी प्लानिटरी ऑब्जर्वेशन कर सकते हैं आप उनकी साइट चेक करिए जंतर मंतर ये कब बनाया हमने सत्रह सो चौबीस में तो ये क्या नॉलेज सत्रह सो चौबीस में आया महाराजा सवाई जय सिंह जी को जी नहीं ये कई हजारों साल पुराना नॉलेज यूज करके उन्होंने ऑब्जर्वेटरी बनाई जो आज कल तक कल किसी मॉडर्न दुनिया में ये पोजिशन एस्टिमेशन सिस्टम ऐसे नहीं बना पाया तो एस्ट्रोलॉजी में भी तो लेकिन पद्म दुर्ग पे समंदर के बीच में किले पे पीने लायक पानी उस वक्त अवेलेबल करवाया गया था कि एक सिविल इंजीनियरिंग का बेस्ट एग्जांपल नहीं है दुनिया में आजकल हमारे गांव में पानी का शॉर्टेज हो जाता है कट डाउन करना पड़ता है वाटर सप्लाई ऐसा नहीं होता था तिथि कैलेंडर अगर ये एक्सप्लेन करने जाए तो शायद पूरा दिन एक ही कैलेंडर पे चला जाएगा आपने उसको क्या बोला था अमावस्या पूर्णिमा बट कैलकुलेशन तो परफेक्ट है इज इट पॉसिबल विदाउट डीप इंडेप्थ साइंस बिहाइंड इट एब्सोल्युटली नॉट ओके जो इतना म्यूजिकोलॉजी मैंने बताया था हमारे पास म्यूजिकल टेंपल है नैलिपिया टेंपल 700 सौ सी में बनाया यहाँ पे ये जो टेंपल है इसका छोटा सा वीडियो क्लिप दिखाना चाहता हूँ सब लोग सुनिए ध्यान से here on these granite walls you can see how the cross there are 56 musical pillars how did these different pillars create various sounds when we tap on stones we will get sound when we tap on pillars how they will create sare ga ma pa notes Do these pillars have hollow inside them to create various sounds? British officer had same doubt in mind and cut one column to see what was inside, and he proved that all pillars are rock solid. When there is no hollow inside, how did they create different sounds in pillars? Did ancient builders have much deeper understanding of sounds, just like modern day scientists? Today we use a technology called cymatics to understand sound and vibration. When musical notes and vibration come, different geometric patterns emerge. Is there any possible that ancient builders were also using cymatics? Here we can see cymatics patterns covered on ceiling of this temple. Any connection between these patterns and musical pillars? If we play instruments and music will come out and cymatics patterns appear. If we tap on pillars through cymatics patterns, will music come out? Still it is a biggest hidden mystery. So there are so many thousands of examples in almost every domain. uh which which talks about which uh, provides the evidence for the richness of the indian knowledge system indian science system whatever way you want to put it like the known thing like iron pillar kutub minar this i think everybody the konark temple in orissa so the konark temple has like the greatest example ever that has built of civil engineering okay so the irrigation dam the oldest and still in practice built in 18 uh, like during the sangam period 300 bc okay. so built by during the chola empire and still it is in practice 1804 british and sapta singh ji se high bada it oldest dam in dunya So, ये सिविल इंजीनियरिंग के बिना पॉसिबल नहीं बहुत सारे कैलकुलेशन बहुत सारा मैथमेटिक्स ये हमने जी ट्वेंटी के वक्त ये पिक्चर देखा होगा सन टेम्पल सन डायल के शाडो के से 
ear suspension so this is the best example of science so itni sari hone ke baad mein kya ye hamare system mein aana chahiye ya nahi aana chahiye so let us not get into ancient things i just want to stay focus on the the more so called modern science so the presentation how do we present this can somebody interpret this picture so this is lavitan woman australian woman scotland peru south africa india what do you understand from this picture basically ye dekh ke aisa lagta hai ki indian woman to bahut hi choti hai कंपेयर टू ऑस्ट्रेलियन स्कॉटलैंड पेरू अगर प्रैक्टिकली रैशनली देखे तो डिफरेंस बिटवीन द हाइट ऑफ द टॉलेस्ट वुमन इन द वर्ल्ड दैट इज 5.5 पॉइंट फाइव एंड द इंडियन वुमन फाइव पॉइंट वन और फाइव इज जस्ट फाइव फाइव इंच एंड द रिप्रेजेंट एपियर्स दैट इंडियन वुमन इज नो वेयर कंपेयर टू लवित वुमन For that just five inch difference, that is how we represent ourselves. It's to 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 make ourselves represent in a correct way, rationally, based on fact, based on evidence. We need ideas. That's why it need to be included in syllabus. Somebody need to go and understand sound engineering. Somebody need to go and understand how music can be uh, used to cure the disease. Somebody need to go and understand to understand the impact of a millet in health, daily life, concentration, uh, the body building, and what not. One has to study the making of people. So one has to study the ethics, how to how to behave with other people, fellow colleagues, fellow citizens. So for all this. the indian knowledge system need to be brought into a mainstream education macaulay ne jo kaha tha jo maine pehle bataya tha kya hum jo usne wo sach tha ya jhoot but irrespective of that aapko nahi lagta jo usne kaha tha more or less the situation hai we lost our esteem about our own culture or own jo foreign mein hota hai foreign ka brand hota hai wahi acha hai hum apne brand bhul gaye हम अपना साइंस भूल गए सो दैट्स इज नॉट फॉर लाइक कैरिंग आउट अ प्राइड और ये बताने के लिए कि हम कितने इंटेलिजेंट नो इज नॉट फॉर दैट इज फॉर हेल्पिंग ईच एंड एवरी वन इवन द एनिमीज मैंने एग्जांपल दिखाया इट्स फॉर एवरी वन इज नॉट टू इसका गर्व करने के लिए नहीं लेकिन ह्यूमैनिटी को इसको जरूरत है सस्टेनेबल गोल अचीव करने के लिए सबकी जरूरत है इसके बिना वो सस्टेनेबल गोल चाहे वो यूनाइटेड नेशन के हो रशिया को अमेरिका के हो अचीव करना इम्पॉसिबल है इसलिए इसके बिना सस्टेनेबिलिटी इम्पॉसिबल है इसलिए आई के ये दुनिया की जरूरत है ना कि इंडिया की राइट right? सो so, इतना सारा ये जो मैंने प्रेजेंट किया जिस हार्डली पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन परसेंट इन विद इन गिवन टाइम इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू गो बियॉन्ड दिस ओके सो लास्ट बैच में भी मैंने एक प्रपोजल रखा था कि ये नॉलेज होने वाले लोग इंडियन नॉलेज होने वाले लोग हमारे पास में अगले दस साल ही है क्योंकि दे आर इन टू देर सेवेंटीज और वो अगले दस साल ऑन एन एवरेज अस्सी साल जीते लोग वी लूज देम बिफोर वी लूज देम जो एक्चुअली ट्रेडिशनल चीजें है जो हमारे लिए उसको लाइक कॉमन चीजें है जो डिस्क्लोज की जा सकती है कि पिकल कप बनाना है मिलेट्स के रेसिपीज क्या है ये हमें नोट डाउन करना जरूरी है सो एन एस एस कैम स्टूडेंट कैन गो टू दिलेजेस आइडेंटिफाई दादी दादाजी एंड नानीजीज इन दोज विलेजेस एंड रिकॉर्ड डेयर नॉलेज इन द रिकॉर्डेड फॉर्म फॉर द वेल बींग ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटी दैट्स माई प्रपोज सो दैट्स वाई वी नीड टू हैव दिस इंडियन नॉलेज सिस्टम राइट दैट्स नीड सो अगर हमारा किचन देखा जाए इट वॉज नॉट लेस देन फार्मेसी जो मॉडर्न मेडिकल है आपके सिटी का सबसे अच्छा मेडिकल उससे ज्यादा पावरफुल मेडिसिन और पावरफुल लोकेशन हमारा एक्सक्यूज मी हमारा किचन था
if you look at this, all these were the ingredients in our kitchen and they were used. So I'll keep uh, the missing part in the interest of time. I have some engagement. So I, I, I request everyone, please excuse me. I'll take a que few questions if any. I'll quickly run through the remaining slides. This is what we are missing. We don't co collaborate. Music or music or collaboration can be done with music or health care and collaborate with health care. Psychiatrists can collaborate with health care. Probably they will come out with something which is useful for everyone. But we don't keep it consistent. So I'll also skip this slide in the interest of time. Keep in mind, we all professor should understand this picture. One day we will be always like this. Blank. Make it day one. So slowly it will progress like this. Okay. So there is a difference between one day and day one. So I for IKS, you need to today as day one. Not one day will start. So make it day one today. So probably then and then. We don't connect it with the spirituality. Don't connect it with the religion. It's not a, such a small thing. It's a huge science, which we need to probably we need to spend multiple lives to understand. Usko underestimate nahi kare. The politicians and news media houses. Inko samajh mein itna chota hai nahi hai. It's like I'm not underestimating the politicians and uh, don't. Uh, I'm not criticizing them. But this is pure science, which you understand to be a scientist. So, it's not for anybody who is not a scientist. So, the academics, colleges, universities, institutes are the places where we produce scientists. That's why we need to bring the IKS into practice. Okay? But, हम तो बोलते हैं ये तो मेरा काम नहीं है यूनिवर्सिटी देखेगी उन्होंने सिलेबस में लाया देखा लेकिन हम सब ये भूल जाते हैं कि यूनिवर्सिटी बीओएस हम सब लोगों में से तो बनी है कि यूनिवर्सिटी कोई मैन्युफैक्चर करके बंदा थोड़ी लाया है वहाँ पे सो यूनिवर्सिटी इज मेड अप बाय ऑल द प्रोफेसर्स � Right? So that's all from my side. Thank you very much. I'm cutting a little short uh, in the uh, due to some other high priority engagements. So please excuse me for that. And I'll take a couple of questions if you. I'm open for the questions. If anybody has any suggestion, any question, any query, any doubt, or if you want to give some comments, I'm open for that. Thank you, Manisha, Madam. So if there are no questions, uh, we can conclude. You can type your question in a chat or uh, you can unmute and speak. If there are no questions, uh, we can stop here. Uh, hi, sir. I have a question. Yes, I'm Dr. Mamdo here. Yes, sir. Hello, yes, sir. can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Please go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Sir, the, the question of whether Indian knowledge system is superior or inferior, OK, there is a political um, issue that, OK, uh, there is a perception of inferiority. But the point, uh, what I was thinking, is there any differences in the methodological base of Indian knowledge system with that of the other knowledge systems? Suppose the Western knowledge system or any other knowledge system. I think that difference is what important. So what do you think, sir? Uh, like, uh, uh, this is a bit tricky question, but uh, I have traveled around uh, 22 countries and uh, understood their system and their knowledge system. I will not compare 
uh, Indian knowledge system with the Indian Western knowledge system. Individually, I will rate whether Indian knowledge system is relevant in modern world, contemporary systems, whatever the branch of uh, like uh, life you consider, be it life science, biotechnology, engineering, genetic engineering, humanities, science, language. If it is relevant to that in, at any corner of the world, so there is no question of superiority or inferiority. What I feel, whether it is relevant today, that is uh, the question I think we should ask. And if the answer is yes, we should practice it. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Any other question? Okay. Uh, uh, I'll call upon the organizer if you have somebody there. Okay, so we'll stop here. Thank you everyone for uh, sparing your valuable time today and uh, um, being a patient listener. It was nice interaction with you. Uh, I have some areas in which I'm working, like you know, speaking voice analytics for disease screening, biosignal analytics using some sensors. So if anybody uh, also using uh, the speaking voice to analyze mental health condition like depression, stress, anxiety. So I invite collaboration if anybody interested. So I'll share my mail ID in chat. Uh, it was there already on the slides, but still I'll share it in chat. And if anyone is interested, then you can't have me. So I shared it in the chat, I can note it down. So again, thank you very much. Thank you everyone for our patient listening. Thank you, sir.